I had a chance to win my last high school football game and I failed. I will live with that for the rest of my life and yet I praise God. You have brought me so far. I have broken records and accomplished great things. I have been able to use God's blessing to influence others. He wrote that on the bus after his last high school football game. At the lowest point of Richard Cawthorn's life, he reached up. Matt Prater from 51 yards out for the win. The kick is good. It reminded me of that other quarterback, the one that very few thought would ever achieve success in the NFL, the one who in good times and bad just keeps praising God. Yes, first and foremost, I'd like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And Yes, these two have a lot in common. Richard Cawthorn, like Tim Tebow, has been a winner all his life, a guy people want to be like, loved, admired, and another quarterback, not ashamed of the gospel. Fellowship Christian Athlete Meetings, and Richard's the president, and the stuff that comes out of this kid's mouth is just awesome. You know, he worships God in the way he plays, and he always thanks God for it. And Everywhere I went Monday morning at Bird High School, I kept hearing the same thing. He is the finest young gentleman that you will ever meet. He's probably one of the finest young men that I've ever worked with, Todd. He is Richard Carthorne, the quarterback who led the Bird Yellow Jackets to their best football in almost 50 years. Brilliant in the classroom, headed to Cornell University where he will play football and baseball. Yes, he is an amazing athlete. But it goes deeper than that. Having an FCA meeting and nobody's there, and he goes and walks around school and gathers up 30 or 40 people and they just follow. They say Tebow is a lot like that. A friend to everyone, quick to forgive, hug. Yes, a warrior on the field, but a class act after the whistle. You see him walking around school with the kids that nobody will talk to and putting his arm around him and loving on him. Reminds a lot of people of number seven. Tebow puts God before he, uh, everything he does. I would love for people to look at me in that aspect, and whether it be through football, baseball, or just being a good person in this world, um, I would love people to feel that love. Carthon, though, on fourth down. Oh, the love he felt after that last pass fell incomplete, when he knew the dream was over, when Richard Cawthorn was at the lowest point of his young life. That love that he and that other quarterback have passed around so freely came flowing back. That game was over. Um, it was all over. And I could look around and see all the faces and all the love and support that was around me. If you can look around and see all the love that surrounds you, that's when you know you've won.